Welcome along to the fourth and final video in our series where we're learning how to create Flappy Bird using Python code. Now in the first three videos, we got most of the game finished. We have our little bird flying through the sky and he can work his way through the green pipes, which are the obstacles coming towards him. We'll just have a quick look at that game now. Okay, so he can fly through the gaps. If he hits the pipes, it's game over. If he hits the ground or the top of the screen, it is also game over. So that's a majority of the game finished. All I really want to do in this tutorial is get the scoreboard at the top working properly. And I also want to fix a glitch with the pipes. If you have a look when I run this game again, the pipes are a pretty good space apart in the first um, set of pipes that come out. But every other set of pipes that come after that, the gap closes up quite a bit and it becomes quite tricky to get through the pipes. So that's a good size. Then it closes up a bit and it's quite tricky to get through, so very easy to crash. So I want to fix that to make the game a little bit more playable so it doesn't frustrate our users too much. Alright, so let's get started by um, working on the score first of all. I want to go to the top section where we make our game variables. We're going to make one more game variable here called score and we're going to set it to zero. Okay, our game starts with the score at zero every time. Now from here, we want to get a point each time we um, fly through the post. So I reckon the best way and the easiest way to get ourselves a point is when the pipes hit the left edge of the page. We've already got most of the code there. That would just tell us that our bird has flown through the pipes, so we deserve a point. So at this point in time, just write score equals score plus one. All right, so score equals score plus one just goes in this section here. So if our top pipe is less than minus 50, get a point. Now to test if that is working, we need to actually draw our score on the screen, because if we play it at the moment, you can't see our score. We haven't actually put it into the game yet. So go right to the very bottom of your code, inside the draw function, that very last line should be your code to draw the score on the screen. What we need to do is get in this um, first section here, where we've got score inside quotation marks, after those quotation marks, just put a plus sign and write str and then in brackets write the word score. That takes the score variable and converts it to a string, so from an integer number into a string, so just a bunch of random characters, and it displays our score next to the word score. So when we run the game now, you'll see zero next to the word score. There it is. Okay, and as we go through the pipes, we get an error saying that the local variable score is referenced before assignment. That simply means we need to make the score variable a global variable. So we've used it just here inside the update function. Okay, if we want to update this score variable, which was created outside of that update function up here, then we need to make it global. So in your update function, just write the word global and write the variable name score. Global score will now mean that we can update our score inside the update function. So let's give it another run. And you can see each time we get through a set of pipes, we get a point. Okay, I suck at these very um, close together pipes, but you can see my score going up. Now the issue is our score stays at whatever it previously was. It doesn't reset when the game resets. So what I want to do is when I reset the game, that score should go back to zero. So at this point here where it says click your mouse to play again, that would be a good time to reset our score. So let's find the mouse down event. Um, here it is here. So in our mouse down event, we've got two, two parts to it. We've got when the bird is alive and we press our mouse, then the bird's going to fly. But we've got this second part here, and this is the part that resets our game. So when we press the mouse key and we're dead, it basically resets the game. So that would be a good point to set our score back to zero. And you've probably already thought about this. We need to make it a global variable because, again, we're inside another function and we're trying to access this variable that was created outside the function. So let's write ve uh, sorry global score at the top of that mouse down function. So I've just added in global score. That will allow us to reset our score to zero each time we restart the game. Let's have another look. So we've got a point, we'll crash, 
Okay, so our score is currently one. If I click my mouse now, it should reset it back to zero. There we go. Perfect. So we've got our score uh, working as intended. Now, one other thing I might add to um, my point system here is a sound effect. So when we get a point down here for going through the pipes, let's add in a sound. In our sounds folder, we've got this sound here called point. So that's just what we play when we get a point. So it'll be sounds dot point dot play. Open and close some brackets. Now just before we test that, that line above it, we can probably fix that up and make it a bit neater. So it should be score plus equals one. All right, let's give that a crack. See if we can hear a sound now. Excellent. Yeah, you get the idea. Okay, so we got a sound playing now each time we get a point. The final issue I want to fix are those gaps between um, the two pipes. Okay, at the moment we set our gap size at the top here somewhere with our pipes. We've got it set to 100. I'm going to bump that to 150. Actually, that's probably too much because it, you can see when it starts here. It's always on the very bottom. So actually, let's just leave that first one as 100 because the first gap size is actually quite good. It's not a bad size to fly through. That's what I'm looking for. It's the pipes after that first or initial um, set of pipes that we have an issue with. So what I'm going to do, I might go down to the update section where we set the pipe um, distance from one another. Here it is here. What we can add in is a new gap size. Let's put gap equals 150. Okay, so for every set of pipes after that first set, we're going to have the gap a little bit bigger, set to 150. Okay, and that should fix our problem up. Let's just try that. So the first gap's all good. Now the next gap looks a lot better. I can actually get through it. All right, so that was looking pretty good. That gap size just got um, 50 pixels bigger and it made it a lot easier to get through and a lot more enjoyable to play the game that way. You can always adjust that gap size if you want to make it harder or easier for your players. But I think that is about it. I don't think there's much more that we can do to this game for now. Um, everything's working how I want it to. It is open um, with a bit of room for improvement though. If you wanted to add some collectibles like a coin or something, you could throw that into the game, you might want to put a start screen into the game so the game doesn't begin as soon as you press play up there. Okay, so they're just a few ideas of what you could do to um, add to the game. You could speed it up as time goes on. You could make the gaps bigger and smaller as well at random times. Have a bit of a play, see what you can do to change the game up a little bit. But for now, that is all I'm going to show you with this Flappy Bird tutorial.